Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Savio Diaz, Solution Engineering Director, APAC and MIA. Good afternoon, everyone. See lots of familiar faces. Thank you for coming once again. So, we've been talking about, getting this right, we've been talking about what we need to do, what we've been doing, the number of products to market, and what we're going to do is to deliver products to market faster and easier. So the topic of our discussion here today is the power of platforms, because that is exactly what we're going to do to become agile. And I think I would like to talk about why we're doing what we're doing with our platforms and how we'd like you as partners to join us on this journey to be more innovative, more agile, and deliver more relevant solutions to market. So we all know that the world is being disrupted, but I want to take a different spin on this. I'm taking it from an Avaya perspective and what we are seeing and how we are reacting to that disruption. The key thing is uh, we are seeing everything communicate with everything right now. So we've moved from this world of instant to constant communications. We're connected all the time, and not only to our devices. We, we interact today. Human interaction is still the number one play. But if you look at the growth of which interactions are moving faster, it's machine to machine, AI to machine interactions that are actually taking precedence as in growth. And this is what we're beginning to see is the relevance of everything people, processes, things, machines talking to each other. The other thing that is taking front and center stage is data. Today, data refined is very, very powerful. You're beginning to see how companies are being bought for their data knowledge base more than their product portfolios. We've seen a number of them happen just this year alone. Everybody is connecting to all the latest trends. Everyone I talk to in the industry, to our customers or our partners, are adopting cloud, social, social, mobile. Any new trend that comes out in the market, every industry is attaching itself to. Agility is actually the key thing to anything we do today. Transforming our organizations, via as well as US partners, is critical to our success and getting to market faster. Gary spoke about agility and why he can come out now quarterly with feature packs. We're going to talk about why and how we can do, deliver on that, on that promise. And finally, experience. We had a great tagline, experience is everything. And the reason we are saying that is because experiences are taking precedence over certain product portfolios today. It is not about functionality. It's about loyalty to an experience. The way you feel attaches you to a brand. So we've got every element of our lives, both professional and personal, being disrupted, whether it's our mobile devices, the way we shop, the way we read news, the way we gather information, the hotels we stay in, or even our transport systems. And we know who these players are. They're pretty large. These are global. But we all know that in every one of our countries, there are local disruptors. And how do we, as a wire, act local in those markets is by partnering or enabling our local disruptors with the technologies that we have as well. From a trend perspective as a wire, we've got three key key trends that we are seeing that are going to disrupt our technologies or impact our technology roadmaps. The first one, just getting this clicker together, is the Internet of Things. Whether it's smart cities, sensors, AI, all of these things today are getting connected to the Internet. I think the stat is 30 billion devices by 2020. That's 200,000 devices a day connecting to the internet. And the issue is, 
can our networks handle that kind of adoption? Can they secure that kind of adoption and manage it at the same time? Deliver services, reduce complexity, all these things we hear with our customers today. Avaya's got a, a solution to that. The next is artificial intelligence. I think 2016 was an inflection point for artificial intelligence and we're seeing it truly come of age. Yes, human-to-human -human interaction, like we said, is topmost and is still the biggest uh, interaction today. But when it looks at growth paths, actually machine-to-AI or machine-to-machine -machine and human-to-machine are actual interactions that are taking precedence over human-to-human. -human. Automation and workflows, delivering relevant vertical solutions where there is no human interaction are actually beginning to take precedence over normal human interactions. And then finally, the blockchain, which is this new distributed peer-to-peer -peer delivery of trust on monetization and, and monetary transactions. Anything of value will be transferred through this disruptive protocol. And if you look at all these, you look at platforms of scale, platforms that have to become more intelligent, and finally, platforms that have to collaborate with each other through blockchain. And these are going to be critical, critical elements moving forward for all of us to understand and, and learn how to work, adopt, and incorporate into our businesses. So, the analogy that I got was from a book called Platform uh, Revolution. And this is an interesting uh, re evolution where we defined how enterprises work today and how they should work to deliver agility. And the issue is today, most enterprises work like pipes. They're very serial in nature, very linear in their approach, where you design, assemble, and then go to market with the product. And it has a fixed functionality that you try to sell. And then if you need new functionality, you go through this process again, and it's got gatekeepers that slow you down from delivering faster to market. We've all been in that situation where a customer's asked for new functionality and we've said, you need an upgrade. You need an upgrade to your communications platform, you need an upgrade to your contact center. All of those things happen to us and it takes eight to nine months through the whole cycle from budget to delivery, proof of concept, and support. And these are critical, critical things that slow our ability to deliver fast to market. So the concept of platforms is the new way that we are seeing things delivered. And the reason being that it becomes a lot more agile and the value creation is no longer the product or the function in the product. The value is on the agility of the platform and the ecosystem that works on top of the platform. Experience does take precedence. Products are significant, but experience takes precedent over the product portfolio that we deliver, the functionality that we deliver to market. The same thing happens with our ecosystem. That becomes our new supply chain and warehouse where the innovation comes from the ecosystem either producing or consuming or vice versa. And as a buyer in the industry, I don't think there's anyone else that has a broader base of platforms and APIs and SDKs than anyone else. We know that there are a few in the market and they are trying to deliver on that. But as a via between a via breeze, between a via SDNFX and the customer SDK, we deliver a full suite of APIs and SDKs that help you deliver true value and agility to market. Both SDN and breeze have been around for a while. This is not first generation stuff. I think we are on the third or fourth iterations of both these portfolios. We started them as a bit closed. We, we held them in place. We incubated them. 
And today, just in this year, we've delivered a lot of value in this space. With Gary's help, we've delivered about eight boot camps across the region and the enablement of that. We've delivered four client SDK sessions across this region. And at Jitex, we delivered our first Snapathon. And I think we came up with 15 snap-ins just in Jitex alone. That was one single Snapathon with a few partners on the stand that decided to create new innovative solutions. They're not all on the Snap store, so if Gary says there are 40, these are another 15 outside that 40 that haven't even gone on to the Snap store. In the SDN FX space, we ran 12 hackathons, slightly different from Snapathons, where we had customers and partners try to hack our data network. And across 12 of them, across a number of countries, zero hacks that were successful in those three or four days that we ran that program. <clears throat> so as partners, this is what we are looking to do and deliver for you. We're looking to create a program where we see a pull and push approach. As partners in the room, we know that you don't only work with Avaya. You all do have your own ecosystem. And what we are saying is, using our platforms, you could integrate your existing ecosystems, where you'll decide on a business case, you'll decide on a use case scenario or a business outcome, and you all would be able to take and map your ecosystems that you all find valuable to take to market and make them more valuable, stronger, more relevant to customers as a unique deliverer of this solution portfolio. Of course, and there is a second prong to this whole thing where we want to instigate because we talk to customers as well. We have a lot of customers that demand things of us and we'd like to challenge the community or create a forum where we challenge the community to a business outcome. That you could all put your hand up and say, yes, I have a solution and here it is. We haven't got the details to this, but this is what we're working out right now is how do we challenge you all to deliver business outcomes when we have a problem and we need you all to solve it for us? That will be a two-pronged approach to our innovation. That's where we're trying to do this community building and drive this effort of community building overall. Under Gary's team, they launched the Snap Store about a year ago. All the pieces to that puzzle are in place right now. Registration, the ability to enable. We've had classroom sessions, but I think after we've had these classroom sessions, we've also gotten feedback that they can be virtually held. They can be virtual instructor-led or virtually held as a classroom overall. So we're gonna run enablement sessions, a validation, and a post onto the Snap Store where between the two of us, we create an enterprise app store that actually helps deliver true value to the whole solution. Today at this expo, we have a number of partners helping us deliver value. I urge you all to go see the Snapathon, talk to the partners. What they deliver is what they think is innovative. You all might have better ideas. It is this community that is gonna help drive it. And hopefully by next year, we'll see your, some of the names in this room up there as well where you all have transformed and decided to adopt the platform and deliver value on the platform. So the goal is, at the end of the day, is to empower you all. Make you all inclusive in our innovation strategy. Drive this journey with us overall. Build new relevant customer solutions. Make us more relevant upstream with the business inside an enterprise. And finally, deliver better experiences. Overall, we cannot do this by ourselves and be agile without this community. And we need your help to help deliver future solutions with us. That's the end of my presentation. And uh, all of what you see, Oceana, Equinox, all of those new platforms are Breeze client SDK based. And that is one of the key reasons that our portfolios have become agile. 
All of that is uh, on demo in the expo hall to the right of us. I urge you all to go see those presentations and solutions. Thank you.